Okay, let's do this. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I want to say forgive me for how long I've been gone, but I'm just going to dive into the value I have for you today. And just hope that that allows you to forgive me and allows you to get what I have for you today. As for life updates, a lot has happened since the last video. I launched another company called Hustle and Hills, and it is basically a women empowerment platform for African female entrepreneurs. I've also grown the podcast, really grown the podcast. So if you're on there, shout out to you. If you're not, you should probably check it out. Now, today I'm talking about something special, something exciting. Well, you know, I find personal branding exciting. Today I'm talking about why personal branding is absolutely essential for female founders. I mean, there's personal branding, there's women, there is business involved. Of course I'm in. And the truth is that excites me because that's my thing. I am a woman, I'm building something and I'm talking about the things that I'm building. I'm making an impact because that matters to me. I have a vision that is bigger than the initial environment that I found myself in and I had to get out there and do something about making that vision come to life. If you're listening to this and you can relate, you are the exact person that's supposed to be in my community. Now, when we hear the word founder, it's usually a big scary word. We're thinking like Oprah with, you know, own network. We're thinking about the really big people. And the truth is you have founded something if you have a business, whether it's service business or product business, whether it is on small scale or you are growing it, whether you're just getting started or you've been at it for a few years, you are a founder. If you are running a business, you have founded a business. So that's kind of like the basics of it, right? Let's not overthink it. Now, when we think of founder, we think, oh, tech, we think Facebook, we think the big companies. You founded something just by starting. Now, where it goes and how big it gets is up to you. What you do with it is up to you. How many people get to see it is up to you. You get to decide how big that thing that you have built grows. And that's the great thing about personal branding, right? It's a tool that will allow you to get so many people, so many eyes on your business, on that baby you founded, on that seed you've planted. Let's not get carried away. Now, why, as a female founder, should you build your personal brand? The first thing is traffic. Now, I launched Hustle and Heels a while back, but I hadn't started building my personal brand. Now, when I relaunched it, which was last year, when I relaunched it, I had already started to build my personal brand. So I was able to talk about this new thing that I had started on a personal branding page, on a personal branding platform that I had already cultivated an audience on. So it was really like somebody making an introduction. You know, when you find something on the streets, it's like, I don't trust you yet. But when somebody introduces you to that thing, it's like, oh, okay, based on the trust I have for you, I'm going to regard this thing that you're recommending. So that's kind of the way personal branding works with whatever business that you start. It gives you traffic. People that will come to you for what you're giving out, the value you're dishing out in your personal brand, that traffic will connect to the business that you founded. It will connect to the NGO that you founded, to the platform that you founded, to the empowerment movement that you founded. The next thing that personal branding will do for you is goodwill. Now, the thing is, brands are really trying to put in the human factor and all, but nothing gives the human factor like an actual human. So the goodwill that you will gather just from showing up as you are, from sharing your stories and your vulnerabilities and your struggles and, you know, just your humanness, that's the kind of goodwill that will translate to your brand. So if you are sharing about personal finance, let's say, say you're sharing about personal finance and you're really helping people and you're not charging for it or even your free stuff is really good. Let's say for your personal brand, you founded a podcast and you're just dishing out good advice, you're dishing out tools, you're dishing out resources, right? And people start to be grateful to you. People start to say, oh, thank you for taking the time to share this. When you have your business page or whatever company you have founded attached to your name, the goodwill that just sharing brings up is going to transfer to the business that you have founded. The third thing is trust. This goodwill will eventually translate into trust. The more people see you, the more they receive from you, the more they trust you and they trust whatever it is that you're building. The trust that you're building as a personal brand is going to rub off on the brand that you have founded, on the business, on the organization that you're building. The fourth reason is relatability. Try as we might, we cannot relate to an organization. We cannot relate to something that is clearly a business, but we can relate to the person that has started that business. 
we can relate to the person that has started that organization and that's you which is why when you come out and you're relatable you're sharing your story and listen i'm saying this as a personal brand agency owner i know that not everybody can write or tell their stories which is why an agency like mine exists right but the point is it is being done you are being deliberate about it if you cannot do it hire somebody to do it if you don't hire she's the brand hire somebody else but don't leave money on the table by not putting your brand out there relatability works like this i come online i say listen i realized that i was playing too small with my life and i decided to get on a self-development journey which is true now getting on this self-development journey i realized that i had so many things to share why not share them also true I started a YouTube channel because I wanted to share those things and, you know, it kind of blew into a, an online business and then another online business and another online business. Now I have three online businesses that are functioning and a podcast and my YouTube channel is still going, which is also true. Now, all of this is someone seeing my journey from when I didn't even know what I was doing to when I started to kind of figure it out to when I was selling $5 courses and eventually to you know to building my podcast and building my agency now the point i'm trying to make is this relatability having seen where i started from makes them feel like oh this could be me right and then it makes them feel like okay if this girl is so transparent about her story that means i can trust her and that means when i talk about my other stuff if it's something that they need or something that they're using in their lives if i'm selling detergent i tell you if it's something that they're using the fact that i have already established trust I've already, you know, gathered goodwill. I have already shown that I am as human as they are. That's going to translate to the brand, to my detergent. And my detergent is going to sell out. I don't know what you have founded, but I do know for a fact that once you go out there and build your personal brand and put a face to the movement, it's going to change the game for you. Now, this last reason is interesting because last year I had the opportunity to work with a founder, a tech founder in the US. And he let me know that he wanted to build his personal brand because this is the second company he's building. And he understood that someday, as much as he loved this company, he might need to sell the company and move on. Now, he didn't want the only brand he had built to be the company because when it's time to let go, he will have to let go of that brand. But if he was building his brand, his personal brand as a founder, as a tech savvy person, as an expert in his industry when it was time to sell the company and it will be time everybody wants to grow when it is time to sell the company he has the reputation that he has gathered to move on to the next thing so i know that this brand is your baby and what you have founded is amazing and beautiful and spectacular but when the time comes to either leave it completely or leave it in other people's hands, when you want to do something different, when you want to do something new, when you want to explore your other amazing capacities and capabilities, you're going to have a brand to start with. You're not going to be starting from scratch. You can build XYZ brand, the company, and forget to build your personal brand. And by the time you have to move on from that brand, XYZ will be an amazing known brand and nobody will know you. So these are the reasons why you need to build your personal brand, right? As a female founder. Now, I'm just going to touch on how you can do that because I won't leave you hanging. Now, I've already told you about sharing your story. What I did not tell you is that there is more than one story to share right and when i work with female founders it's like we have different stories we get a collection of stories we write like a novel a small a collection of small stories about you because you're more than just one story yes there's the one story of how you reached your founding situation but there are many other stories that have brought you to where you are and telling those stories regularly is how you get people to get to know you as a person because when you check, when you make a new friend, you guys just swap stories until they know your stories as much as you know your stories. So that's kind of how personal branding works. You share your point of view, you share your stories until your audience begins to feel like they know you. And the next way you can do this is by sharing your process. You're building something. Show us the process, right? It's kind of like math. I remember when I was little and uh, math wasn't my favorite subject god help me and i didn't understand why they wouldn't just take the answer why they needed to see the working because the working was usually rubbish <laughs> but that's kind of how it is in real life that's the one thing that math has translated into real life for me i know that the answer is not just it the working is where people get to connect with you 
is where people get to see themselves through your story. It's where people get to see if this girl, despite all of this, has done it, then I can as well. Now, the third way that you can build your personal brand as a female founder is leveraging on your face and your voice. Now, those are like... <laughs> Those are the two things that nobody can imitate. I know that there's AI and all of that, but you see me, you hear me, and those things are like fingerprints, right? Except we can't just put our fingerprints online. But the point is, these things are special to just you. And if you leverage them, you let people see you, you let people hear you, your opinion, your point of view, you repeatedly share your thoughts on things going on in your industry. I'm telling you that the respect and authority that that will bring to your name is going to add to your brand, like we have talked about, is going to add to your authority and therefore you have a brand independent of the organization that you're building and you have goodwill, which means that when you move on to the next thing, your audience is going to come with you as well. When you're building something, people want to know how it's going. So sharing lessons from your journey is an amazing way to build your personal brand. I was listening to Alex Homozi the other day and he was saying how he finds it painful that Jeff Bezos did not record his journey. And that's because I don't think personal branding was a thing when Amazon started. But imagine if we could have followed Jeff's journey. Imagine if we could have seen the step-by-step -step thing it took for Amazon to come to life. And now you get to do that because you're building the next Amazon. And if you share your journey, you automatically allow people to go on it with you. July this year, I hosted the business brunch for female entrepreneurs. And one of the main marketing strategies that we use was we carried people along the journey. We carried people from when we started, when we met stakeholders, we were trying to find locations, we were trying to make it work. And people followed the story and people felt invested. And even the people that could not make it for the, for the brunch, which is now going to be a conference in 2024, even if the people, even the people that could not make it, they were, they knew exactly where we were at any given point in time. And that is what building in real life does for you. It makes people invested in what you're building. And people is the currency with building online or building anything at all. People are the currency. So listen, if you're listening to this and you're just getting started with whatever you founded, then this is an amazing place to start. If you've been at it for a while, that means you already have the experiences and the lessons that I'm talking about here. And if you feel like you've started your brand, but it's not going the way you want, or you want to pivot or you want to change it, now is the right time to do that. And so I'm going to tell you now, just sticky feet, don't tell anybody else, Branding Boldly is coming back. The last time we did it, we had amazing female founders inside it and the reviews, the reviews were amazing. Now this time around, I realized that it will be even more impactful if I taught it live. And so I'm going to be taking you in seven weeks through the process of creating a powerful, impactful personal brand. If that sounds like something you're interested in, you to watch this space because once the doors open, I'm going to be taking only a limited amount of women on this journey. I understand the kind of energy that I'm going to need to bring to the table to get these many brands off to a powerful start. So if that's going to be you, I will see you soon and I will give you details soon. It's not going to be open. The doors are not going to be open for another maybe a month to six weeks. But I look forward to seeing you if you know that now is the time to build that brand. Thank you for listening. If you're watching, thank you for watching. And I will see you next time. Bye.